I don't know, my favorite part about that game is the residual radiation left over from the nukes. And how it just like lights everything up after somebody's been nuked. Makes it all pretty like. <laughs> Channel kind of like that. Link to YouTube.com. Somebody needs to make a Iraq War game mod hey. where you play, or hey, not mod, but game where you play as the uh, Iraqi the Minister story? of Propaganda. No. Now we wait. Sergeant. I think this well, world thing's the really there. For DEF CON? That's what they like, say. How many like uh, say? real time hours? Say. What do you think? To represent? I don't know. Seventy two. Seventy two. You're okay. gonna tell me. So, crowd's got V twos. Japs have got to have something too. We're here for the scientists. Bombers seem only that really good it. like once they've exhausted their new supply, like retaliatory shit. Okay. okay. Start the engine. Take us in. World War II. You know, eventually at some point, Battlefield basically has its own universe, right? With its own multiple problems, split timelines. Like this is Let's not. No, 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 no. Let's not. Let's not do this. We're going to turn into TV tropes. No, no, and you see, see, this is where in World War II, the Americans fought the Japanese by loading up their jeeps. With dynamite and launching them across the islands. That would have made the war hell a lot more badass. And this yeah. is the spot in Germany where the German troops uh, jumped into the water and then flew up really high in the air. Thanks to a physics bug, and that allowed them no. to halt the Russian advance. You know, technically, they could just go around all of that and then just like have like a big, huge. Uh, Stay on Asia. Yeah, but really poor Flips never was able to walk again after that. Uh, no sound. System or whatever. I already did that as Secret Weapons of World War II. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. And this is oh, when yeah. the Nazis built jetpacks that didn't Jetpacks. <laughs> Wait, were there really jetpacks? Yeah, there the were. Weapons? They were basically shit, but they were hilarious to use. They were so bad. The Secret Weapons of World War II. The Secret Weapons of World War II expansion pack was awesome as fuck. Yeah, like the suicide bombing Nazi jets were hilarious. Shit. Get down. Okay. Secret Weapons was awesome, but the problem is it came a bit late, so not a lot of people yeah. played yeah, it. Yeah, I had a lot of people played any of the Battlefield expansion. Road to Rome was a lot more popular, though. You got it, man. Yeah, I I honestly only played Road to Rome and then Vietnam. Oh, I played Forgotten Hope and Desert Combat for Road to Rome too. And that was about yeah, Dude, Desert Combat was the best, and it still is the best. To be quite honest, didn't the guys that made Desert Combat? Yes. They got picked up by uh, Dice or whatever, and then they never made a good game since. Well, no, they they got higher. Oh, some of them were hired to work with DICE on Battlefield 2. And then when they're like, okay, yeah, we're getting paid, this is awesome. And then EA's we're like, clear. so you guys want to move to an entirely different Devil's foreign country it, and continue working there with DICE? They're like, we probably right. don't want to move there. It's up to us then. And EA's like, you're fired. Now we don't have to pay you royalties. Uh, How come it ain't well, who did Frontline? Dude, wasn't that the Desert Combat guy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then called. they're like, well, we got fired. Let's stay here in the oh, U.S. Works. and form Chaos Studios. They can take what we're we'll use Unreal Engine 3 and show everyone how competent we are at making Battlefield Let's games. Let's get moving. And they made a bad game. game. But, and they made two and bad but, games. But uh, I would probably move to Finland or wherever the hell Dice is. I would, but you you can't blame people for not wanting to. Yeah, and then you got to take into account that you'd have to live and work with Dice. Do you really want to do that? Yeah, and their community know. managers. More than that, that is there. all fucking two of them. Balls. Quiet. Take the one on the left. Like all, you, you spend ah. the, the majority of your day fishing out dice developers' oh, arms from vending machines that they got bit. stuck in. You're talking about Trauma Studios, right? About a thousand to go. It'd be Come like on. that one part of uh, of The Simpsons 
what, oh, chaos, four, okay, 40 hours right. a week. Yeah, that would literally be it. You would be basically... Be, your, your co-workers would all be Homer Stop Simpson. Stop trying to nuke Leningrad, you piece of shit! Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait. I didn't, I knew the radar station next to it. Um, what do radar was, stations do besides uh, the area? And then you have a community manager just making things fucking worse. Do like they just give you early warning to shoot down nukes easier or something? Why? Yeah, exactly. Take the trenches. Yeah, wait. Oh, oh, take care of those guns, guns on. You know we were dirty. That isn't the mission. Chaos Studios is responsible for Frontline's Fuel of War and Homefront. Yep. Yep. Oh. Wow. Oh, two is. big bombs. This is way too much for me to handle. Goodbye. I heard uh, is, front home front two is coming out. In some ways, and then home front didn't even try. You guys like Defcon? <laughs> We've had Def. I've had Defcon for like years. Oh, I love Defcon. Defcon is amazing. If that's the last I, of your high run, it's kind I'm of incredibly, I'm incredibly bad at it, but I love it. And we wiped out Alpha Face in here. I don't think he's here anymore. Oh, he's here now. I know what I could do without Dugga. Okay, this way. Still some time. Who? What? There? How much does this way sway? Oh, and, uh, since Chaos is gone, they actually hired Crytek to make Homefront 2. Come on. Homefront 2 is going to be like Somalia invading France. <laughs> but, you know, I guess they figured Crytek already had all those destroyed urban city assets from Crisis 2, so, you know, just give it to them, right? Down there. We'll literally just field. copy and paste the code from Go. one game to another. Mind. Watch your I'm, step. I'm gonna assume there's gonna be a lot of asset reuse. Stop! Get down! Down! It'll be like what from one Call of Duty to another. Mm, well, not that much. I mean, that's pretty ridiculous. Hey guys, remember when they released map packs from Modern Warfare 2? And 40% of the maps came from Modern Warfare 1. That's why you don't buy map packs. That's why you don't buy Call of Duty. Finish him off. put the game on 4X now. Let's go! Have you even launched your nukes yet, Daka? Yeah, like all the we got lucky there. So no, I know you just did it, man. <laughs> Find this guy. I can't believe Daka would have all his nukes on already. Right Although he didn't shoot like half his shit into DC. Goodbye, Leningrad. No, you missed him. <laughs> oh. Who the hell is he? He ought to be here by now. Oh, 3x, that's all I have. That's so much, really. Stop. Don't move. Give him the challenge. Who yeah, I wasted all those bombers. Baseball player, Chup Anson. Great, let's get him out of here. Hang on a second. What the hell was that sound? What you say? I don't know. Sorry, If you 
You sold us out. Yami no Buki. The black weapon. You had an unfair advantage of actually getting the ducker before me. Okay. No. We're going, pal. Huh? I mean, you should understand me. You should we are our getting out of here. Sarge, they just cut off our primary. All right. We'll go through the sub pen. It's a goddamn death trap. Yeah. I know. And please speed the game Not up. Not Moscow! No, speed the game up. Come on. Oh, he wins. Speed the game up. Uh.